What is the zoo for what? The word zoo is a zoo for the zoo. A fountain is a zoo for water. The song is a zoo for sound. The harmonica is a zoo for the hot breath of Neil Young. Vagina is a zoo for baby. Baby, girl baby, is a zoo for vagina? The rose is a zoo for the smell of the rose. The smell of the rose rattles its cage. The zookeeper throws something bleeding to it. The something bleeding is not enough. A toddler fell into the cage of the rose. The toddler was entirely eaten. His name was Rilke. It was in all the papers. A little pine box is a zoo for him now. It said in all the papers. Then all the kids started doing it, falling into the violet's cage, approaching the cave where the smell of violets slept, getting their whole head clawed off by it. Neil Young did it to a buttercup, and his face got absolutely mauled. The music that was piped into the zoo let all the longing escape from it, and it ran riot over the earth full of the sight of the smell of a buttercup rearranging the face of Neil Young, attacking pets at random, attacking me in my bed as I slept, attacking the happy, wagging ends of my poems. Can I put Neil Young in a poem? Will he get trapped in there forever? My voice is a zoo right now for this. And this paces very much inside it. It would like very much to escape and eat hot blood again and go home. And right down to the restless way I walk, I am an argument against zoos. Zoo is very cruel. Let everything out and live in the wild. Let it hunt for itself again. Get the stink of human hand off it. But the hand is a zoo for hold.